What's up guys, just wanted to shoot a video about uh, what I got for Christmas from my friends and family. Or really just family because you know, we're not allowed to see friends and all that rubbish now. So um, It's been a long time since we put a video out so it's kind of cool to be able to put something out and obviously showcase what I got for Christmas. Obviously the flashing lights in the background are kind of a big giveaway as to what I got. And this, um, this here is a present that my wife got me amongst other things, bless her. Um, such an amazing gift. I've, I've really wanted to own my own arcade cabinet for a while, um, or bar top cabinet, um, which obviously down the line, if we wish to extend it and build a base for it, we could. But time, um, space permitting, it really is just best to have a bar top right now. We don't have, you know, two kids now, so there's not a lot of space for us to be utilizing my hobbies with something so big like this. So bar top's useful, we can shift it around if easily if we need to. Uh, so my wife ordered this for me, kept it a secret. Well, I was speaking to her a few months ago about saving some money to get one and bless her, she's just done her research and um, and, and come out with the goods, bless her. And um, yeah, I'll give a shout out to Tutti because I know she was chatting with Tutti about some advice towards what to get as well. Um, so she went with a company called Love Retro um, and uh, there's a few issues with communication with the company, but um, you know we've got the cabinet here for Christmas, and I can't be happier with it. It's running Retro Pie. Couldn't tell you what version. Um, not really up to speed with all of that at the moment, but it's got, uh, but you know, 90% of the arcade games I could ever really want on there. There's a few I've noticed that are missing. Um, oddly, things like Defender and stuff, but I think to be honest, I could figure out how to add them myself, as I have the ROMs on, a, on an actual Retro Pie. Uh, device myself so uh, it's possible I could figure that one out if I do a little bit of research myself. Um, obviously showcasing one of me and Rudy's favourites here, WrestleFest at the moment. So when me and Rudy are allowed to get back together we'll we'll uh, be hooking up and playing that no doubt, you know, re rekindling that Black Arrow game talk but episode but we got screwed out in the finals of the tag team tournament. I think it was Hogan and Ultimate Warrior possibly who uh, screwed us over. I can't remember who I was. I know that he was Jake the Snake because he kept hitting that DDT, but I can't remember who I was, so I have to go back and watch that episode. So yeah, it's um, you know solid piece of construction. Uh, got a cool LED thing in the background with a Nintendo logo over. Uh, I think there's a way I can control this flashing light to keep it on a solid light. Again, I need to get, get do a bit of research into controlling that, but I know by the looks of it around the wires around the back, the LED wires coming out of the Raspberry Pi as well. So there's got to be a setting on there for me to be able to do that, but I don't want to fiddle around with too much, you know, because it's obviously built for for straight away play, and I don't want to mess with too many functions on there. Um, also got this awesome lamp from uh, my brother-in-law and uh, and his his partner, his fiance Nicole. So that's really cool to add there. Um, my in-laws bought me the, um, which I wasn't expecting at all, the. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Game & Watch um, which is obviously much more of a collectible thing than something you'd want to put hardcore hours of play into um, but I was pleasantly surprised with how well the um, rubber buttons and the D-pad for this feel very much playable version of Super Mario Brothers and obviously Mario Brothers 2 Lost Levels um, it charges via USB-C rather than um, little watch batteries, because obviously they wouldn't power like the screen like this now. Um, oddly, it doesn't have the little stand that the old game watches used to have, um, which I was really shocked about, because you know someone might actually want to use this as a clock, and therefore have to just place it up against something. Uh, what else did I get? A couple of Switch games. Uh, so my father-in-law got me uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Switch, uh, which is the only version on the Wii U. Um, but he often gets good deals and stuff uh, where he works, so um, that's kind of awesome to have on the go again because I haven't had the Wii U out in a long time, So and it's got the new funky mode because I suck at this game and I might need a little helping hand. So that's cool. And then, again, my um, brother-in-law and his fiance they got me the Cobra Kai game on the Switch, uh, which I was actually looking at it a little while ago, I didn't actually realise it had come out on the Switch yet because I know that it had uh, come out on PS4 and Xbox One and there was a slight delay with getting the Switch version, but I didn't know the physical version had come out. So really, really enjoy that series, it's proper, it's 
it's so cheesy but awesome and some of the fight sequences are wicked so I know all the characters I'm uh, looking forward to giving that a spin it looks like it's quite in depth sort of fighting mechanics in there so I think that's going to be cool it might not be a Streets of Rage 4 beta but you know I think it'll be a lot of fun if you're a fan of Karate Kid do check out Cobra Kai it's uh, kind of like Say by the Bell meets the Karate Kid so you know in a modern setting so that's kind of cool and speaking of Say by the Bell there's a new version of that coming out soon which is probably going to be god awful we're going to watch it anyway um, so yeah that was the gaming related stuff I got I think um, I just want to say my, my wife bless her as well she's I was saying bless <laughs> she's she's been amazing and, and got us uh, tickets to the 2000 Trees Festival which um, should have gone ahead this year 2020 uh, but they've moved it back to summer for 2021 and fingers crossed that uh, that actually goes ahead and come next summer we're going to be a little bit into normality and we can do stuff like gigs and festivals and gaming events and, and comic cons and stuff you know that's really what it's the fun fun stuff to look forward to for me and um, yeah so 2000 Trees Festival two of my all time favourite bands are playing Jimmy at World one night Thrice the next night uh, Thrice are playing uh, the V2 album in four, which is my favourite album of all time. Re Semi recently bought the vinyl for that, so that is going to be incredible to hear some of them songs played live for the first time. Because obviously, Price and you know, help me out here, Martin. Eight, nine times have we been now, and um, yeah, they play a lot of songs from that album. But they're going to play the whole album back to back, all the B sides, and then a ton of other stuff too. Um, so that's going to be absolutely epic. It'll be, it'll be my wife Holly's first time at a festival, so. Um, It'll be an experience for her, for her, but it's not going to be, you know, it's not a massive, massive thing where you know, camp out in mud for days or anything like that. So, no, it'll be, it'll be awesome. I really hope it can go ahead. Um, so, I've been so lucky, blessed with the presents I've got this year. This is going to get a lot of um, love and attention over the coming weeks. Um, might do a few streamed videos, you know, why not? Because it's here now. Um, you know, it's, it's overwhelming the amount of stuff you can play because you've got all the arcade stuff, you've got the NES, the SNES, Mega, Dr um, Mega Drive, Atari 2600, 7800, Atari Lynx games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, 32X stuff even on there, you know, it's crazy. Um, so, saying that, you know, if there's a few arcade games I'm missing, there might be like the NES or SNES versions of them to play. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, doing a bit of research to get into some of the classic arcade games and trying to get my high score on because that's half the love I wanted from this machine is to be able to sit there and set myself some high scores so I've joined a few arcade forums on Facebook or Reddit or something and um, and sort of see what people are, sort of numbers of people are hitting I just have to, I just have, to have patience so this is like a, another thing for someone like Nintendo Arcade at Alex you've got patience dude and you sit and you get them high scores whereas I, I need to focus and get getting that mindset again you know um, so definitely but, but games like this are always going to be fun as well we've got the Turtles and the Simpsons arcade games Wrestlefest old favourites of mine um, which aren't about the high scores necessarily but um, yeah I want to go back to that some of the golden age games and, and, and set some high scores Mario Brothers is one I want to get good at um, it's hard to go back to you know, after playing newer Mario games with the slippier controls and not being able to move mid mid jump sort of thing, um, but I grew up on Mario Brothers on the 2600, so I can adapt myself and and work on that. So yeah, it was just um, I think that was it for the game and stuff. But um, it's been a great Christmas with the kids, and still got a few days left now. And I go back to work till January the 4th, which which is just awesome. You know, we've really needed this time off and and um, looking forward to playing some games and watching some films and the kids have got so much new stuff to play we've struggled to find homes for it all um, so you know here's the 2021 being a better year it's obviously guys going to start as this year has ended it's not going to be great for a while but you know fingers crossed come that come spring and then summer we do have some sort of a normal summer again try and get our lives back on track and hopefully see you at some events um, so yeah, the next few videos I might put out are going to be arcade related, I should, I should assume. So any requests for me to try out some games would be wicked. Um, you know, we've been saying this for two years now because me and Rudy shot this about two and a half years ago, actually longer. Um, we have one episode of Black Arrow Game Talk in the bank, but we spoke recently about putting it out. 
um, because you know it's been so long since we put out an episode. Um, we spoke about getting together to do a, a, a Black Arrow episode on his Mortal Kombat 2 arcade one at Cabinet, um, which I think has the MK1-2 and then Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to play. And obviously really will give me a schooling on that because Mortal Kombat's not my bread and butter. In fact, fighting games aren't my bread and butter, but you know I'm always up for the challenge. And then we'll have him around here, or I'll ship this over to, to Rudy's and, and we'll play on some classics on here as well. The only problem with this is it's proper micro switchy, so you know, it's going to be a noisy number if you hear me playing it. But um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to win the Royal Rumble, I think I can do on WrestleFest, on a single player, so you know, that's going to be my aim. I'm trying to think of a thing. I always like Big Boss Man, so maybe I'm going to be, big, big, be the Big Boss Man for this one. Thank you for watching, guys. Just want another shout out to my wife, Holly. I love you so much. Thank you so much for all the thoughtful gifts and, and surprising me with this because you didn't have to do it. And, and it's, you know, one thing I've been after for so long and it's amazing. So I love you. Thank you, guys. Take care and I'll see you in 2021.